Does your PC not support Windows 11? In this video, you will know how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. Things to know It is not a good idea to install Windows 11 on unsupported PCs, especially if you have just one PC and it contains your valuable data. Because Windows 11 might crash on the unsupported PC and you might lose your important data. Microsoft has announced to support Windows 10 until October 2025, so you can keep using Windows 10. You will continue to receive updates. If you still want to try Windows 11, I will suggest that you install it separately by dual booting. There is a video on how to dual boot Windows 11 and Windows 10 on the channel. Click the i button or check the description. If you still want to install Windows 11 on your current machine, replacing Windows 10, you can continue following the instructions in this video. Check if your PC supports Windows 11. To check if your PC supports Windows 11, download the PC Health Checkup application. The link is in the description. This app will tell you if your PC supports Windows 11 or not, and if not, it will also show you the reason. Install the application. Click on Check Now. If the device is incompatible with Windows 11, it will show this pop-up. Now that you know what your PC lacks, you can follow the instructions to fulfill the requirement. You don't need to apply all the fixes, only apply those that are missing. For example, if your PC is missing TPM 2.0, then apply only that. Let's thank our sponsor Malwarefox for this video. Malwarefox gets rid of hidden malware from your computer. It is a simple yet effective anti-malware software providing protection against adware, spyware, ransomware, keyloggers, and all modern cyber threats. Check the description below to download for free. Check if TPM is enabled. If the Health Checkup app shows that the TPM is disabled, then you can enable it. But first, let's check the status of TPM and its version. To check the TPM status, right-click on Start and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Click Yes. Now type Get TPM and hit Enter. Here you will see the TPM status. If it is disabled, you will enable it from the BIOS, which we will show a little later. First, check the TPM version. Press Windows plus the R button. Type TPM.msc and hit Enter. Here you will see the TPM version. If it is TPM 2.0, you can just enable the TPM and you're good to go. If it shows TPM 1.2, then you will have to change the registry for that. Instructions for that are at the end of the video. To enable the TPM, restart your PC and press F2, Delete, or the Escape key. The key to enter BIOS is different for different PCs. You can search on the internet to know the key. Now locate security settings. Find TPM, press Enter, and then enable it. Enable Secure Boot To check if the Secure Boot is enabled or not, press the Windows plus R button. Type MS Info 32 and hit Enter. Here you can see the Secure Boot status. If it is disabled, restart your system and enter the BIOS setting. Locate Secure Boot. You might find it in the Security, Boot, or Authentication tab. Now enable the Secure Boot. Fixing No UEFI. To make sure if your system is using BIOS or UEFI, press the Windows plus R button. Type MS Info 32 and hit Enter. You can check under BIOS mode. If it is showing legacy, then your system is not on UEFI. You can easily convert your PC to UEFI using Microsoft's tool. To download it, check the description for the link. However, you should first make sure if your PC supports the UEFI mode or not. You can go to the BIOS settings and check the Boot tab. If you see any UEFI or BIOS boot mode, then your PC supports the UEFI. If the UEFI is present, run Microsoft's MBR to GPT tool. Follow the instructions and convert your PC to UEFI partition mode.
Change registry for unsupported processor and TPM 1.2. If your PC doesn't have the supported 8th generation or higher processor, and if the TPM 2.0 isn't present, you can change the registry to bypass the unsupported processor and TPM 2.0 check. However, TPM 1.2 is required. These registry settings are on the Microsoft website, so you don't have to worry about using malicious code that could hijack your system. However, Microsoft still doesn't recommend bypassing these checks. If you do, you might face issues such as not up to the mark performance, frequent crashes and bugs. Also, Microsoft could disable these bypass options at a later stage, so you should understand the risk. Enough said. Let's open the registry editor. Click on Start, type Registry Editor, and open it. Click Yes. Now expand H key Local Machine, then System, Setup, and click on Mo Setup. Now right click here. Hover your mouse over New and click on D Word 32 bit. Name it as Allow Upgrades with Unsupported TPM or CPU. You can just copy the name from the description and paste it here. Now open it. Set the value data to 1. Click OK. That's it. Now you can easily install Windows 11 on your unsupported PC. Installing Windows 11 through the Insider program. If you don't want to change the registry settings, you can use the Microsoft Insider program to upgrade to Windows 11. People are using Windows 11 through the Insider program even when their PC doesn't have these required configurations. Open the settings. Click on Updates and Security. Then on Windows Insider program. Now click on Get Started. Now register. Sign in using your Microsoft account. Now select the Dev Channel, confirm and restart your device. Now open the Update and Security and click on Check for Updates. It will start downloading Windows 11 Insider Preview. That's it for this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 tips and tricks.